hey what's up guys um this is a video about dissociation and about how it makes me feel and how the aftermath looks like to me so the other night as a lot of you know when i was live streaming i massively dissociated i completely zoned out and i ended up having to end the live stream early and that sucked it really did and I filmed a clip during that night because I couldn't, I, I don't know what was wrong with it, I just couldn't switch off. I kept dissociating, reconnecting, dissociating, reconnecting, and it was the worst night I've had in a long time. And I filmed a bit and I said what I was thinking and I'm going to play that clip for you in a minute. I will say the only raw clip I really got because when I'm like out of it, dissociated and whatever, I kind of don't do anything because I don't know what to do. This video is an important one to me because this is a side of my life that has only really come into play this year and what i mean by that is before this year i didn't know dissociation even existed um so when i had the first episode where i saw ghost people i'll leave a link in the description to that video because i'm not going to tell that story again when that happened it was such a shock to me and i didn't know what it was it got worse to where i am now where i spend half my time completely out of it in a cloudy mindset where it's like everything seems hazy and cloudy and like a dream we'll go with a dream because that's the best way of me explaining it to you so my memory has been really bad recently and it affects me it, it does affect me quite negatively having this thing that you never really know if it's going on it's so complicated because i could be we'll use like that night as an example what happened was i stopped live streaming i got into bed here's the part i can't remember so i was in bed and i don't know if i fell asleep for a bit and then woke back up and dissociated or if i just spent the most of the night dissociated i know i fell asleep at about five o'clock and then i woke up at what nine ten i didn't bother going into uni that day because i was too that morning was i think i was, I was like i don't even know what happened last night and it was horrible it really was horrible and i don't think i can sit here and explain to you enough about how much dissociation affects people this mainly came about when i was in a very high stress situation and it, it primarily came about about april this came in so it was around the time that my relationship with michelle was about a month in and was starting to deteriorate it was a very high stress situation because i was getting told that oh you're suicidal and it's not fair like, why aren't i enough for you and it created a lot of stress and just to be clear i'm never going to make a video talking about that relationship i'm not willing to give her the platform not a chance like i said i've got no interest in giving her a platform because she treated me like crap she really did whether she decide chooses to accept that or not it's not my luck out anymore every bit of harassment she has done has been reported i happily gave a statement i said i was willing to stand in court police accepted it that's their responsibility they can take care of it when me and her was in a relationship it got very stressful and that was when the dissociation started happening it's when the ptsd got triggered that was when i don't know how many of you will know this but the video i put out about ptsd and what one of my episodes would look like that was triggered by michelle and i never put in justification i never explained why because i had a lot of respect for her and i cared about her because you know what that's the kind of person i am so i did keep her out of that when i did the the reason i'm still alive video that was about michelle i nearly got entered into a crisis house because of the stress michelle put on me and what happened that morning i was in the middle of an appointment and i got this text very saying i'm done with this i'm gonna go and buy this and i'm gonna go here and do this and i just started crying and then the appointment i was like what the fuck do you want me to do I didn't know how to deal with it and my building manager ended up saying hey look you just need to pack her stuff up and she can go and that was that after that point it got very complicated for me i've completely lost track of my thoughts dissociation that's what i was talking about sorry um that's what happens when i get triggered and i know i'm talking a bit about michelle and that whole situation but it's a big and big that big thing the whole thing kind of got kicked triggered by her because she put so much stress on me not only with the police thing but with running off to mine with claiming that i was being abusive and manipulative for sleeping and not answering the phone whenever she called for not answering every message she sent i was the abusive one this girl sent me over 300 messages in one day and countless calls countless voice notes it got so intense 
a lot of my viewers know this, I am not, I find relationships hard. I find any kind of relationship hard. I find friendships hard, I find actual relationships hard. And the one thing I made very perfectly clear to Michelle at the start of this relationship is I am not into sex. I've always said this and that is the big difference between me and Michelle. And this isn't the first time I've said this, it was in a live stream I did back in the summer. I found that my dissociation happened a lot more when she was around and I think it was partially because of the stress she got with her and because of how manipulative she was and I've, I've seen the video she made about me where she was like oh I'm not manipulative she was manipulative and she was emotionally abusive end of point of fact like if saying and I'm gonna quote this I can't even fucking read actually right Right, okay, I won't quote her because she, apparently she doesn't use the English language in messages. She basically said, if you don't sleep with me, I'm going to sleep with other people. And if that isn't manipulative, then please feel free to enlighten me. Anyway, back to the subject of dissociation. The main thing that triggered me was the high stress. And unfortunately for me, I've remained pretty stressed since then. I'm not as stressed anymore, but my migraines are still there which is annoying as fuck um and funnily enough that started around the same time so that's fun dissociation is a bitch it really is and it really fucks me about like anything remotely triggering for anything for my mental health i just dissociate i read out my custody record on live stream i got very very disconnected and very dissociated i was so out of it at the end of it and i ended up being like i can't even think i'm gonna have to end it and it fucking sucks and I know so many people who struggle with dissociation i'm gonna now play you the clip that i filmed that night just so you can see and understand what it was and what it's like so yeah i'm gonna turn my phone on so it's currently 2 7 in the morning and i had a thought my thought was a bit like i don't know how to explain it was um i don't know i keep disconnecting from everything and it's starting to really really bother me um uh, in the live stream today i well yesterday now i massively dissociated towards the end and i don't even remember half of it i just don't know i need to turn the camera on because i don't know what else to do i i'm not going to uni today because well it's too late in the morning and if i was to go in i'd have to wake up at half five and that's not gonna happen and I'm really not in the mood for you now. I don't even know how I feel at the moment, I'm just feeling numb. Like, I feel ridiculously depressed, like at the moment I feel, I feel so down and afraid and things I'm so afraid of getting things getting as bad as they got. Like I'm terrified of it. I'm massively afraid of getting abandoned and left because all my life I've just feared being left and abandoned it's happened so many times i feel like anyone who gets close to me just leaves me i remember when i was a kid um, my mom would take me to school and we always do a thing like see you later alligator in a wild crocodile and i was just thinking about that and it made me cry i'm just like i've always been so afraid of getting abandoned even if it's not abandonment and it makes me realize how irrational a lot of my thoughts are if my thoughts really are that irrational, what do I do to change it? What do I do to improve it? How how can I make it anything that it isn't? And that's the one thing that gets me really down about things. Like, like now I just don't know. I don't even know how I feel because I'm happy. Like, I'm really happy. But at the same time, I'm also, like, down. I, I want to cry. The reason I feel like I want to cry is because I know I'll never be able to go back to my life before mental health came in, like before mental illness became such a big part of it. I know I, don't, I can't ever go back to that life and this has been how my life's been now for like what, seven years? That alone is enough to make anyone feel like shit but I just, I feel a bit trapped with it and like I try so, so hard to step forward and change my mind and change how I feel and I've done such a good job of it so far. I just don't know how to maintain it or to keep it going. I, I, I don't know. 
I really don't. And I'm even now I'm debating whether to go into uni or not. You know what, I am. I'm going to set my alarm. I might have to run late, so I'll go for 6, 6.30. I can leave at 7.35 at the latest, I think. I'm actually terrified of my new dipping again. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who was in the stream, though, that was being nice to me and decent about things, because they was all like, Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, and it, it helped. Because I kept, I, I, I mean, I still feel fucking out of it. I, I kept disconnecting and dissociating and forgetting and then happening again. I, I normally edit it out when that happens. <laughs> like, I just delete it because it's the one thing with my mental health that 100% bothers me all the time. I hate the fact that I don't feel like I'm present in anything. Everything I do feels like it's hazy and not really happening. Like, I could be lying in bed and then I'd get up, go and do something, then get back in bed and then ten minutes later I'd like, actually get out of bed or did I just imagine it. Living like that, it's horrible. It, it's so hard. It really is. It, it fucks with your head. It makes you feel... I hate it. I have to write down pretty much everything I do and that me I don't know. It just makes me feel pretty shit about it all. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Bye. Um, so now you've watched that, I hope that gave you some insight into the aftermath of a dissociative moment. If you are interested in seeing what it looks like when I dissociate, I'll leave a link to the live stream in the description. I also leave a link in the description to the other video I did on dissociation. Well, the other videos. I've done videos now on dissociation. I've done a few videos, which is good. Dissociation needs to be talked about. It's not very commonly talked about, and it's weird that it's not quite common as well. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Ring the little bell. It was dingling ling It doesn't go dingling ling but it'd be cool if it did. YouTube. Ring the little bell, ring the dingling. Ring the dingling. What's wrong with me? Yeah, if you hit the subscribe button, if you're interested in more about my relationship, life, and everything that happened this year, my book is in the description down below. It's available on Kindle and paperback. A uh, new edition will be out very soon, and I will see you soon. If you guys want to leave a comment, please put a question. I want to do a Q&A at some point. Put a question, put a video request. Leave it in the description down below. You'll get made. Uh, I'm gonna go because it is nearly 11 o'clock in the evening and I haven't had my meds yet and I feel really wired and I need to sleep at some point because I've got uni at 9am and I have to be in the underground for 7.35. So yes, I'm gonna go and I'll see you soon. I, I feel tired. I did a two hour live stream today. Oh, I'm fucking fucking day. I find it funny how I made a video about dissociation and I managed to trigger myself in it by talking about my ex and then dissociated. Mm, it's mental health, isn't it? Anyway, I actually do need to go to bed. I need a drink. I don't know. I don't want to get up. I was originally going to be putting up a video about um, police and mental health today, but I'm going to film that on Saturday because it's going to take a lot of planning. I'm turning around. Wow. Hello. I also want my current girlfriend, Serenity, has a YouTube channel. Link is in the description. We like Serenity. Serenity is a nice, supportive person who, one, isn't emotionally abusive, two, isn't manipulative, and three, is the biggest we are ever. I'm getting soppy again. I sent Serenity a really soppy message the other day. Peace.